I think I saw a talk from Kevin Buzzard about uh, the Lean Programming Language just a few years ago, and he was saying that uh, this might be the future of mathematics. And so it's also exciting that you're embracing uh, one of the greatest mathematicians in, in the world, embracing this, what seems like the paving of the future of mathematics. Um, so I have to ask you here about the integration of AI into this whole process. So DeepMind's alpha proof was trained using reinforcement learning mm -hmm. on both failed and successful formal lean proofs mm -hmm. of IMO problems. Yes, so this yes, is yes. sort of high level high school. Oh, very high level, yes. Very high level high school level mathematics problems. What do you think about the system and maybe what is the gap between this system that is able to prove the high school level problems right. uh, versus gradual level uh, problems? Yeah, the, the difficulty in increases exponentially with the the number of steps involved in the proof. It's a combinatorial explosion. Right? So the thing of large language models is is that they make mistakes. And so if a proof has got 20 steps and your large language model has a 10% failure rate um, at each step um, of, of going in the wrong direction, like uh, it's, it's just extremely unlikely to actually uh, reach the end. Actually, uh, just to take a small tangent here, is how hard is the problem of mapping from natural language to the formal program? Oh yeah, it's extremely hard actually. Um, natural language, you know, it's very fault tolerant. Um, like you can make a few minor grammatical errors, and a speaker in the second language can get some idea of what you're saying. Um, yeah, but but formal language, yeah, you know, if if you get one little thing wrong, um, like the whole thing is is is, is nonsense. Yeah. Um, even formal to formal is 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 very hard. There are different incompatible. Um, uh, proof assistant languages. Uh, there's Lean, but also Koch and Isabel and, and so forth. And actually, even converting from a formal language to formal language um, is uh, is an unsolved, basically unsolved problem. That is fascinating. Okay, so, uh, but once you have an informal language, they're using uh, their RL trained model, so some, something akin to Alpha Zero that they used to yes. go to then try to come up with proofs. They also have a model, I believe it's a separate model for geometric yes. problems. So what impresses you about the system and um, what do you think is the gap? Yeah, we talked earlier about things that are amazing over time become kind of normalized. Um, so yeah, now somehow it's, oh, of course geometry is a solvable problem. Right, that's true, that's true. I mean, it's still beautiful. To yeah, yeah, no, it, it, it's, it, these are great works. It shows what's possible, I mean, um, it's, it, um, the approach doesn't scale currently. Yeah, three days of Google's server is server time to solve one uh, high school math problem. This this is not a scalable uh, prospect, um, especially with the exponential increase in um, as as the complexity um, increases. We should mention that they got a silver medal performance. The equivalent of, I mean, yeah, equivalent of a silver uh, I mean, they, performance. So first of all, they took way more time than was uh, mm. allotted, um, and they had this assistance where where the humans started helped by by formalizing, um, but. Uh, yeah, also, they're, they're giving themselves full marks for the solution, which I guess is formally verified. So I guess that that's, that's fair. Um, yeah, um, there there are efforts. There was there will be a proposal at some point to actually have an, an AI math Olympiad, where at the same time as the human contestants get the the actual Olympiad um, problems, the AIs will also be given the same problems, the same time period, um, and the outputs will have to be graded by the same judges. Um, um, and which means that it will have to be written in natural language rather than formal language. Oh, I hope that happens. I hope yeah. that this IMO happens. I hope, I hope next it's, one. It won't happen this IMO. The performance is not good enough in, in, in the time period. And, and uh, um, But there are smaller competitions. Uh, yeah, there are competitions where the, the answer is a, is a number rather than a, a long form proof. Um, and that's, that's um, AI is actually a lot better at um, problems where there's a specific numerical answer. Because um, it's, it's it's easy to 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 uh, to reinforce to reinforce some learning on it. Yeah, you got the right answer, you got the wrong answer. Uh, it, it, it's it's a very clear signal. But a long form proof either has to be formal, and then you, uh, the, the lean can give it thumbs up, thumbs down, or it's informal. Um, but then you need a human to create it mm -hmm. to tell. Uh, and if you're trying to do uh, billions of of reinforcement learning, um, you know, um, um, runs, you, you're not you can't hire enough humans to uh, to create those. Um, I mean, it's already hard enough for for the last language models to do reinforcement learning on on just the, the regular text that that people get. But now, if you actually hire people, not just give thumbs up, thumbs down, but actually check the the output mathematically, yeah, uh, that's too expensive. 